Hey Kipsters, it's me again, Mrs. Ellis. I hope those problems weren't too hard to solve. Okay, well, now it's time that you check your work. I did the work, and let's see if who got the right answers. Oh, make sure you solved it, and you're not just trying to look at my answers first, okay? Huh. You ready to see it? Okay, here's what I got. So, when I did the tens with the ten strategy, I added 30 plus 60 and got 90. If you got that too, show me your I agree symbol. Awesome. Then I did 8 plus 5 and I got 13. Then I had to add 90 plus 13 and I got 103. You got that too? That was so smart. Okay. And then the other strategy, ugh, probably my favorite, is when I got to keep a number in my brain and count on. I keep kept the number 65 in my brain because 65 is bigger and it'll take me a shorter amount of time to draw out 38. So then I kept 65 in my head and I drew 38 in tens and ones. Then I counted, and then I decade counted up 65, 75, 85, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103. So 38 plus 65 equals, you got it, 103. I knew you guys would be able to solve it. All right. Well, now I wanted to do some subtraction with you real quick. This subtraction strategy is going to look very similar to the strategy that Miss Miller used. Because it's the exact same thing. When we subtract, we always start with the, yep, some people said total, some people said biggest number. So I need to start by drawing 83. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83. Perfect. Oops, some of these are a little. I want to make them the same size. There we go. 83. Now, do I need to draw 35 more? A lot of people said no. Why not? Yeah, because it says we're taking away. When we take away, we don't add more. We have to take, cross them out to take them away. So we need to take away 35. All right, cool. So that means I need to take away 30. That means 3, 10, 6. 10, 20, 30. Now I need to take away 5 ones. Oh, no. Do I have enough ones to take away? No, I only have 3 ones, and I need to take away 5. What do you think we should do? I heard some people say turn a 10 stick into 10 ones. Yeah, I know there's 10 ones in this 10 stick. So let me go ahead and draw those 10 ones in that 10 stick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh, now we have more than enough ones to take away. Now I can take away 5. Let me start here. 1, 2, Three, four, five. Now we need to count how many is left. Count it. 10, 20, 30, 40, count by ones, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. How much does it equal? Nice. If we don't have enough ones, we can turn a 10 stick into 10 ones. It's called a 10 stick because it has 10 ones inside of it. If we need more ones, we can always borrow some from a 10 stick. 
turn it into 10 ones, and then we can take away. Sound good? Awesome. Now, I'm going to give you guys a problem to see if you can do it on your own. Remember, if you don't have enough ones, you can borrow them from a 10 stick. I want you to solve. Make sure you have your pencil and paper ready so you can write this down. Make sure you're drawing your representation. So you should draw your tens and ones, cross them out, and figure out what that missing number is. 72 minus 47. Your turn to solve it. I wonder who's going to get it right. I know you're going to get it. It's so easy. Can't wait to see you soon, good sirs. Bye.